video is brought to you by ChannelFireball.com. Check out CFB for free strategy videos and articles from the best players in the world. You can also use the code GABBY at checkout to get 5% off any purchase. Everybody on YouTube and welcome! We are drafting more Vintage Cube and we're tryharding today because we're going to try to go ahead and get ourselves a trophy. That's the plan. Yeah, that's what Stan means, I swear. That's what Stan means. Oh, it does too, Dr. BB Math, but like when people say they're a like Taylor Swift Stan account, it means stalker fan. I swear. D like, look it up. I, I had to look it up too. <laughs> Stan accounts are fanatical about Stan is Baratheon. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Louise. Thank you for the 57 months. Holy moly, that's so many months. I'm thinking about taking Glendalindra. But I'm not complaining like you about not opening power. I'm just like pretty happy that I got a good card because Glendalindra is very good. Glenny D. Both are correct. I believe those are both true. They're both about Eminem and Stalker fan accounts. Anyway, let's take Glen. Glen Arena. Uh, mister, I already previewed my card for Theros. Uh, if you go to here, it's like one of the latest videos. Uh, I think I want to take click here. Yeah, more fairies. Take a fairy and more fairies. This is like, this is like you can't sit with us. These three want us together and Glenelendra's not invited. Well, this is not even the name because it's not Glenelendra. It's Glenelendra Archmage. There's no comma. Mm. Yeah, Glenelendra's a place, so this Archmage is an Archmage from Glenelendra. We've gone over this before because people always say Glen for this because it makes sense, but it's like, this is not, it's a place, it's not the right thing. I think we want to take Ancient Tomb here. Uh, I think it's like Tomb, Pierce, or Mooly Dooly maybe. You could see taking Spell Pierce or Tomb or Oracle. Wow, okay, cool, we were on the same page. Um, not Tarpit? No. I don't think Tarpit is. I think between these two, Ancient Tomb's just much better. Honestly, with, like, Glenelendra, I kind of want to just take, uh, Ancient Tomb. It's just so good to get this card out early. Just hose your opponent. That headshot at the top of your Twitter hits me every time, like, oh, Dr. BB Math. So cute. Oh my gosh, Johnny, thank you so much. You're the best. No, Tarpit is great. I don't. I just don't think it's better than Ancient Tomb in that spot, especially since we're not black yet. Yeah, I think we just take Vista. Vista, baby. Hasta la Vista, baby. We could take Fatal Push if we wanted to move into black, but I don't really see like a super strong reason to do that, so let's not worry about it. Uh, I like to Fairy Hero Dominaria. The card's pretty good. Show and tell broken. God, I want to take a break. I've been playing too much show and tell. We did so many stipulation drafts and in like a week I played like seven show and tell decks or something. <laughs> uh, empty Cheons. I think we're drafting blue white Cheons actually. No Stormies here. I think we're taking Tuffers. Are we doing best mod of 2020 or something? Do I even have to try? No, I, I played the fifth. I mean... Let's be honest, Molly won the, the mod race, but... Galangi, welcome! Which spoiler card was mine? It was Nyx Lotus. I know, Alex, I cast Eureka multiple times last week when we were doing stipulation drafts, and I was like, what are we doing here? <laughs> I think we could take Seachrome Coast or Torrential Gear Hulk. Gear Hulk is good, but we don't have anything good for it yet. And Seachrome Coast does let us play both these things, even though I don't like the Fastlands very much. First Sam says this pod is the best friend of the decade and madness. <gasps> oh no, Caroline! <laughs> the betrayal at the house of the hill. At the house in Colorado. Um I think I'm just gonna take Seacrum Coast. I I'm just not super enthused about taking um Gear Hulk when we don't have anything for it yet. That's true. I did learn it was Carline. Did I see the fancy new art for the gods? Let me see, German. Let me look at this. Oh, wow. That's really cool. Hold on. I'm going to put it on screen in a second. Um, large standard day, Dr. B. Uh, we can take Tithe Taker. 
It's like a fine card. We could also take Baral and then just hope to get more counter spells. I could also see that. Because it's not like we're guaranteed going to be white. So I might as well just take something that's colorless and about the same cost. Mm, maybe probably take Breeding Pool. Look at this, chat. Holy moly. This is Heliod. This is Perforos. And this is Nylea. And then there's also the other gods. Clothis and Erebos. What is a Clothis? Oh, this is a new god. These are super cool. I don't always subscribe to the altered stuff, but this stuff is wild. It's really, really cool. Yeah, they look sick, right? Uh, yeah, let's just take Breeding Pool, I think. Yeah, the Constellation thing is so cool. Yeah, they're supposed to be, like, infused by the Nyx or something. You can take Smuggler's Copter. We might end up being, like, a more creature-based blue-white deck as opposed to, like, just permission-based. I do like Smuggler's Copter. It's pretty good. It also works well with Brawl. <laughs> nice Copter Nucleo. Mm. This is this is all bad. I guess we can take a Myriad. I guess we could take Imperial Recruiter, actually. Do people ever draft non-blue decks? Yeah. Yeah, you can draft non-blue decks. We did a bunch of stipulations that stipulated not drafting blue, actually. I am not playing in New Jersey. I'm going to take Imperial Recruiter just because I think it's like kind of disrespectful. It's going so late. Um, and it's not even guaranteed that we're going to be blue-white. Here we can take Plow Wonder. Damn. Anonymous Gifter with a gifted sub to Looter Scooter. Thank you, Anonymous Gifter. I appreciate that. This card is really good. I don't... Nah, I should just take Recruiter of the Guard. It's fine. Oh, we are just guy strategies now. Oh, baby. Let me take the here, the Harbinger. I don't think I want this or this. I'm just going to take the Blade Splicer. I wonder if the Lark is going to be good in this. Oh, we wield the Tithe Taker. All right. Chion lives in our hearts. I know. I was actually... I actually thought that if Chion got hired by Wizards, there was a really good chance that he would be the person who would then make it so that the people who work there are more likely to stream. But it did not happen. That was uh, pretty disappointing. Because I think... <gasps> Ancestral! We did it! Oh, baby! I know. Me too, Cookie. I feel like I learned to... A lot of cube drops and stuff I learned from Paul. Lou MTG with tier one sub, eight month resub. Thank you, Lou. I appreciate you. Oh, there is the soul ring. Oh my gosh. Chat, thank you so much for pointing that out. Yeah, I might soul ring. Oh no. <laughs> oh wow. So unlucky. Open the two best cards in cube. I mean, I guess Black Lotus is probably better. Is Black Lotus? Yeah, Black Lotus has to be better than Ancestral. All right, I'll take soul ring. Uh, I think path. Yeah, I... stupid snap. <laughs> you would take ancestral over Lotus in a lot of my decks. I think the order for like actual like picks is, I think Soul Ring might be the best one. I think maybe like Black Lotus is second, and then ancestral is third, or it might be switched between ancestral and Lotus. I'm not sure. Um. Anyway, I think I'm, I'm taking Snap or Path to Exile. We don't have a lot of good stuff for the Snappy yet. Oh, Cookie, that's awesome. Yeah, I, I learned a lot from LR, from Luis, from Paul. Who else did I have? I watched Cube a lot. And I also have played a lot of Cube with BK. But he, he doesn't stream. Um, I think I'm just going to take... Maybe Ancestral. I think I'm just going to take Path to Exile. Mmm, Trinket Mage, huh? Artifact card with converted mana costs one or less. So currently it only gets Soul Ring. But I think we could try to make it happen. We can try to pick up uh, like another Mox or another cheap artifact. Borrow Signet? Mmm. Mm, I don't know. I kind of like Trinket Mage a little bit better. I also don't think we're playing Recruiter at the moment. I don't think it's Wrath. Yeah, me too, Pillar Star. I think this is like a better speculative pick, and I'm not super excited to take Boros Signet, so I'm gonna just take Trinket Mage. Uh, Gip Probe is not bad. An Artifact card. So technically, we could get Bomat Courier with this. <laughs> like, if we took the Bomat Courier, it's fetchable by Trinket Mage, I believe. 
Amrakul for Nahir, I'm not sure if I'm joking or not. I mean, it's kind of interesting because Amrakul in this deck, what else could we do? If we got a sneak attack, it would be good. And if we got a... Um, literally, I've never seen Trick get Bowmat. You can, though. It totally does work, right? Yeah, it's just an artifact card with command and one cost one or less. Hmm. Oh, yeah, it's through the, through the Breach sneak attack. Yeah, I'll take the Emery. Cool. Speculative Emery is okay, I think. Or Speculative Emmy. Uh, don't think I want Wheel. I do love Ancient Grudge, and we could even cast the green side off of the Breeding Pool. Mm, nah, I don't like Baneslayer King. I think Baneslayer is, like, really mediocre. I like Misty here. Misty fetches... Doesn't actually turn on anything in our deck. But it's a really good fetch anyways to have. <laughs> Boma Career Soul Ring, I know. <laughs> tough choices. Really tough choices. I'm gonna take Misty. I do like Monastery Mentor. Though this is turning out to be a kind of not... Um kind of not super instant and sorcery heavy deck though i do think monastery mentor is awesome name a tougher choice hard taco or soft taco hard taco easy easy we could also take siggy You'd like mom to get more aggro and have copter and stuff i don't think you need mom in these decks you can you can go a little bit bigger i am looking for cheaper instants and sorceries though isn't the soft taco breed i mean it's, they're just talking about soft tortilla i believe I think I'm going to take the bar of soap. Yeah. I am down for the bar of soap. Uh, these are all kind of bad. Oh, Wall of Omens is actually okay. Though it doesn't crew the copter or do that much. <laughs> Soft taco times infinity hard taco. Oh, I could take Relic of Progenitus too. Actually, having Relic to be tutorable by Trinket Mage makes it, I think, a fine card to put in your main deck. Yeah, and also it, it turns it into a sideboard card you can board in that is also tutorable for, for like the reanimator matchups or whatever. I think I like that. I think I like that better than Wall of Omens. We'll see. We shall see. Gideon Blackblade might be okay in this deck. Sachmo, thank you for the 16. Chat, how's your new year going so far? Are you off to the are you off to the races? Do you have any cool resolutions? You like Angel? Angel's not bad. I have enjoyed Angel as well. And you do get two sides for it. You shove Stranger Things into a copter. <laughs> I'm Rickle Crewing Smuggler's Copter. I've never seen that before. 1080p. That is a good goal for, for uh, 2020. Let's take the Angel. Ooh, can we make Sun Titan work? Mm, it might not be better than Oblivion Ring. Heath's a Tryland. Heath gets Breeding Pool... But also a white source. Could also be force negation, actually. Yeah, I kind of like force of negation in this deck. Like, if you ever go, like, Teferi and force of negation back up. We don't have a ton of blue cards, but I think force looks really nice. Ooh, Soulfire Grandmaster. We open Time Walk. We'll have the combo. The Wombo Combo. Yeah, our mana is not good at the moment. But th that only fixed even the wrong colors. Oh my god, people are just going to say SFM. No, <laughs> Chad, go home. You're drunk. Go home. I'll take Lone Vala, but... Oh, we did it! We wheeled the bow, my courier! Oh, baby! <laughs> hmm, that's like the mom. Actually, Knight of Autumn is splashable in this deck. Nah, I'll just take the mom. Oh, we are full-on Jeskai strategies right now. Look at this. <laughs> mom does fly a copter. Kind of awkward to fly the copter with mom, though, because it taps her. Okay. The batter skull. Rakdos Signet is the last card. I think we just want Remand. This is turning into, like, a kind of nice little blue-white tempo deck. Can't even call this blue-white Cheon. This is just, like, blue-white tempo. I know. Why couldn't we get Ancestral in this one? Where, where this one's, like, super mediocre, right? What's SFM? Cassie, this is so stupid. Okay, so you know this card, Soulfire Grandmaster? If you were to if you were to abbreviate this card, it would be SGM, right? Soulfire Grandmaster. I Luis, because the other card, by the way, SFM usually means Stoneforge Mystic, because that's how you would abbreviate that. So I was like, 
I had both both of the both of them. I had like Soulfire Grandmaster and um, Stoneforge Mystic in my hand, and Luis was like, "Play SFM." So I play <laughs> Soulfire. Uh, this sorry, the um, uh, Stoneforge Mystic, and then Luis was like, "I meant the Soulfire Grandmaster," and I'm like, "How?" He's like, "S for the soul." Hold on, let me make sure that I'm selected on this. He's like, soul fire grand master. <laughs> it's just like you. <laughs> You're so ridiculous. Also, how did you ever expect I was going to play the right card? <laughs> I'm going to take time warp here. It's not for... Uh, Skull Clamp is actually a consideration, but it might wheel. I was so mad. <laughs> Obviously, you play SFM. <laughs> Yes, playing the right card was not the point. Also, like, I think we won that game anyway, Molly, but that wasn't the point. I was so mad. No, we're not taking Moat, no way. Uh, we should just take Ponder. The, the cheap spells are really good. Ponder or Urza. I would be more into Urza if we had more, like, more hate. Like, if we had more artifact mana or, like, stacks or something. I don't know. Urza cast Emrakul? Oh, that does actually give us outs to casting Emerald. You may play that card without paying its mana cost. So you don't technically cast it. It is fetchable with Recruiter. I think I'd still rather take Ponder, though. I think Ponder is really fantastic. We're going to take Tundra here. You do cast it? You do cast it? Hold on. It said you may play it. So play. you may play it counts as casting it? Urza. Hold on. Card. Oh, that is an update. I didn't realize that. Wait, too many cards beginning with Urza. 89 cards. Oh, so it's it's templated as play, so you can also play your lands. I see. Yeah, don't worry. MTG bot's drunk. Don't don't even worry about it. We're going to take the Tundra. Uh, Gideon might fit nicely into this deck. Although, actually, Hallowed Fountain maybe is a little bit better. So if I... So I'm probably not playing Misty right now. No, sorry, I am playing Misty. I'm probably not playing Breeding Pool. But I am playing Ancient Tomb, Seacrum Coast, Tundra, Prismatic Vista, and Misty fetches... Misty's a duel because it fetches Tundra. 13 creatures for GTA. I, I don't actually think it's GTA. I don't like that card that much. I think it's Hallowed Fountain or Gideon. And I don't think it's Gideon. I think it's just Hallowed Fountain. Yeah, I like having good mana in Cube too. I think it's really important. Ah, uh, interesting. Hmm. We're not an upheaval deck, right? We have Bomat Courier. Sorry, we have Soul Ring and Simic Signet. We're not playing Bomat Courier. <laughs> yeah, it could be Thirst. Uh, how's, how good is our Flicker Wisp? We can blink the Vendillion Click, the Trinket Mage, the Recruiter, the Blade Splicer. Dogamoy! Thank you. Blinking Glen is not bad. Um, yeah, we have a lot of choices. Delcom, how was your stream? Thank you again for the host. I really appreciate that. Artisan number cool does seem pretty sweet. This might actually... <sighs> not sure that that's the right pick. I do like the idea of doing that with the Emrakul, but I, I think we should just abandon the Emrakul plan. Like, I think that's the problem. I don't think Artisan is bad, Louise. I do think Artisan is slow and not what I'm looking for in this deck. I think you were supposed to just take Swords to Plowshares here. Could also be Resto Angel. I think I like that better than Gideon or Sword. Should've been Oops All Gideons. Oops All Chads. As nice as Sword is, the nice Resto deck. It is. It actually fits into our curve pretty well. I don't think we're playing Nahiri or Emrakul. BT dubs. Let me just take Resto. I love Karakas. Containment Priest is just randomly really good against Reanimator too, though. Yeah, so currently I think Nahiri and Emrakul are not happening. Ooh, Karakas Click is nice. That's 22 cards and that'd be... Hi, Team Kestek. Welcome on in. Geist is awesome. Eh, Geist actually would be not bad in this deck. I love Karakas so much, though. Let me take Karakas. Oh, this might be a fine Student of Warfare deck. Krakas is better reanimator, to be honest. No, I still think the Containment Priest is better against reanimator, but I do think they're both quite good. You're just so often able to, like, bounce whatever they do. The problem is that the reanimator decks also do sometimes reanimate non-legends. Like, when they reanimate, like, Ashen Rider, you just can't do anything. Or, like, 
nasty drasty or um like yeah titans or something hold on oh god i meant to take the stupid one drop it's okay i think this is better though mm, could take silver blade paladin though i don't think we're playing it <laughs> Nucleo. <laughs> oh, we got a little Kithian. Yeah, we're gonna try to be a little more aggro, I think. Are we stack stack? No, we're probably not. Ooh, we got the Flicker Wisp. And we got the Gideon. Ooh, baby. This is a tempo deck. This is... <laughs> I guess I'm glad I passed the Student of Warfare so I don't have to play it. I can keep my record intact of never having played Student of Warfare ever in cube. Yeah, this is some nice blue-white geons. I think Artisan didn't make the cut. Uh, let's see. Our mana's gonna be pretty good, too. I don't think Baral got there. Um, Fairgrounds Warren recruited the Guard Flicker Wisp. There's a chance the Force of Negation... Yeah, Soulfire's a derp without any combos. Agreed. <laughs> Student of War versus Step 1. Oh my gosh, no. No, never like that. Uh, is Drinking Mage playable? Maybe not for the main deck. It tutors Soul Ring, but that's kind of like the only thing it tutors. If we ever board into it, we can board into Trinket Mage and Relic. Yeah, now I kind of wish the Skull Clamp would have been sweet. Let me take this and not this guy. Where is it? Ah, uh, Wolfsark, which card is it? How good is the Lark? Power two or less from your graveyard to the battlefield. It does bring back Glenn, doesn't bring back this, does bring back that, brings back this, doesn't bring back that. Lark does look good in our deck. I don't think the Force of Negation looks good. Um, Lark, Angel, Gideon, Time Warp, Teferi. It's Nelia's Intervention XGG. Search a library for X land cards and put them into your hand. Ooh, that's a cool card. XGG. Okay, so it's two mana basically to tutor any amount of lands that you can actually tutor for. Yeah. <laughs> lark it. I think I'm definitely going to lark it. Oh, baby. Um, Do we want Bomac Courier? Actually, okay, time out. Do we actually want Trinket Mage and Bomac Courier? We might actually want that. It's red to activate? No, no, never mind. We don't want it. No, we don't. <sighs> no, we don't have red easily available. We could have with like Prismatic Vista, basically, but because we can't activate it, probably not. So I am worried that these are a little too thick. Activated abilities of creatures your opponent's control can't be activated. We could play like a random Linvala to host them or a random Silverblade Paladin to hose. Um, I do like this. I actually think the Adento Vanguard pick was better than Student of Warfare. Eric, thank you for the 30 months. Aw, thank you so much. It's super, super awesome to have you back. I hope you've been doing well. So, Tundra, Seagram, Coast, Vista, Caracas, Misty, Hallowed Fountain, Ancient Tomb? I guess because we have Ancient Tomb and Soul Ring, having a bunch of fives isn't that scary. Yeah, that's not bad. Let me do our math real quick. Quick math. Uh, so, for blue sources, we have Hallowed Fountain, Misty, Vista, Seagram, Coast, Tundra, and the soap, the Simic Signet. So, that's... Seven blue. And then for white, we have Hallowed Fountain, Caracas, Misty, Vista, Seagram Coast, Tundra. So that's another six. Oh, I might have done that wrong, actually. How many blue? Hallowed Fountain, Misty, Vista, Seagram Coast, Tundra. Yeah, it was only six. So we have six and six so far. What does it suggest? Six and four? Yeah. That puts us at 12.10. The best part of clicking is to let them keep their hand. Yeah, I actually love clicking them and deciding, like, nah, you can keep everything. <laughs> All right. Yeah, this looks not bad. I wish we had a little bit more in the I form of... I can learn to understand you. No. Might... I don't want you to learn to understand me. 
I wish we had a little bit more like four spike mana tithe action. I think that'd be really sweet in this deck, but we didn't get anything like that. Oh my gosh, Yuka! Yuka, did you get your card? Uh, supposedly you got one sent from actual CFB, but I needed to double check with you to make sure that it did happen. Because I I only heard about this. I didn't see if like if it actually got delivered or whatever. Maybe Cortana just wants to tell you about the really cool card draws that I'm about to play a creature. <laughs> uh, ooh, I'm playing against Team J Bro. This is one of the trophy leaders, right? Misty gets Tundra, I believe. Yeah, this hand looks good. You mulligan like 800 times in your Pioneer League, so you were due. <laughs> oh, I know J Bro does a lot of cubing. I remember the... Honestly, what I remember is when people were campaigning for Jaber to be on the LR and like the LRF host did not take it very well. <laughs> That's mostly what I remember. Yeah, it was not good, DC. It was no bueno. Pack rat, huh? Wow, I wish... Yeah, that was... <laughs> that was as anticipated, Louise. What's the story behind that? I don't know. It's kind of not my story to tell Cookie. I don't think I want to tell it. Um, I think... So are they just on the pack rat plan, maybe? If that's the case, I should probably just go Island, Siggy, and try to get to Fairy going. Yeah, I think that's that's good. Yeah, I mean, it's basically what Luis is saying in chat there, except apparently it was like pretty overbearing and like that's just not really the way to get somebody on a podcast. So eventually I think, yeah, I was just spamming and kind of not great. <laughs> and then eventually I think both the uh, LR hosts were like, the it's not happening, like stop spamming. <laughs> Oh, that's cool, Team Kessig. Is it worth it to block and give pro black? They probably have something to stop this from happening. It's, it seems... I'm, I'm just going to do it. Like, it's a free attack, right? Yeah, no reason not to. Yeah, it could be that if I tap out my mom, then they respond with a thing, but. Pro black. Ooh. I kind of like the idea of um, playing Caracas and then just ambushing with Resto Angel. That sounds really nice. Because then we just get to eat a pack rat. <laughs> Cookie. <laughs> That's really good. Putrid Imp, huh? Discard a card. Putrid Imp gains flying until the turn. As long as there are seven more cards in the graveyard. Blah, 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 blah. Sure. So we clamped away the putrid him just to draw some nonsense. Why'd we get off the pack grab plan? I think it's still worth it to play Resto Angel. Cause the pack grab plan sucks, sure. <laughs> sure, I blinked her. Yeah, probably a reanimator. Um Drawing cards to feed the rats? No, because you don't really need to draw cards to feed the rats. I think that's just not really necessary. Um, I do think we can just go to Fairy Tuck the Pack Rat, probably. And leave back Mom, attack with Resto. Yeah, that seems reasonable. Pack 
Tuffers. Oh, yeah, we could Tuffers Plus and just, like, say whatever to Packrat. That also is reasonable. Let me get on White Swords. We have more White Stuffs. That's true. We're not really losing a pack right, right now. We have the Caracas too for like the bigger stuff. Sure. Ooh, ancient tomb. Ancient tombies. All right. And then we can untap this and like that. Cool. Yeah, because I can't even really attack here. One is Prowler. About to get clamped. Yep. <laughs> yeah, that was like a poor man's divination. <laughs> Build your own divination. Ooh, I like that. Um... Can we do both? We can't time warp and blade splicer, but we can warp in a Danto. Yeah, so let me go one, two, tap here. That's a Danto puts me down to one, and then, yeah, that's enough. Yeah, we almost had enough for the blade splicer. Two, cycle this through here, get another blue source, play time warp targeting me. Um, attack with Resto. And my turn again. It doesn't really matter what we untap here. And untap. Yeah, Jaybro clamped twice and couldn't do the, couldn't draw a card, which is not really where you want to be. Um... I think we're trying to get this Teferi to ultimate. Let me draw first. Yeah, I think I'm just going to keep going upstairs. Path is good. Let me go ahead and ponder real quick. Gideon Jura seems like a kind of cool thing to play. I, I, I kind of want the Gideon. Because then I can start attacking with my other stuff too. And it doesn't even really matter what they do. Unless they kill the Gideon, I suppose. Mm. Sounds good. Have a good one, DC. Um, so let me go... Lark. Or Plains Lark. Yeah, Plains Lark. Gideon. And not Shuffle. Cool. Yeah, that's true, Cookie. Hey, Ark, how are you? Welcome on in. Hold on, how's this gonna work out? I have to do it through here. And then this leaves also Karaka's up. One, two, three, four, five. Love it. Um Tack with Resto. Ooh, I do have on top too. That's right. I'm I'm gonna play Kithian too. I think I'm gonna talk with Resto and a Danto, and it doesn't. I don't have to talk with Mom. Ark's complaining about white cards, but look at my good cards, Ark. Our deck is good. It's like a white aggressive deck, kind of. Martian Law, thank you for the 20. Oh, geez. I did not mean for that to happen. Uh, let me untap. It does not matter, but that was not the plan. Oh yeah, we're still winning. I'm not even worried about it. It might actually be fine not to take a bunch of damage. Who knows? Died a stupid through the breach or something. Uh, I might path in response here. Yeah, I think I don't want that. Because, like, this gives a tapped land, which I do not care about. And, um... And then it also denies, like, a double card draw. And then, like, Team J Bro gets to play something here for, like, two mana, maybe. Maybe three if he actually drew something. 
Derek, I love the cookie cat. The ginger cat is so good. <laughs> I love it. Uh, black source. So it's just, is it mono black? Re it must be mono black reanimator. Mox diamond, huh? Oh, are we like so save the island just to have that? I wish we had a uh, artifact removal. Is there really a difference between opponent having eight or ten cards in hand? Yeah, the card that they have does matter. It's not like a huge thing, but it also meant that we tapped them out of their pack rat, so their pack rat plan was done forever. Yep, <laughs> that's true. What Molly's saying is true, too. Uh, activated abilities of creatures your opponent's control can be activated. That stops Pack Rat, Una's Prowler, and like... This is the Relic Trinket matchup, yes. So Trinket Mage, Relic, get in there. Stops Imp 2. Yeah, Limbaugh might be okay. We need to take out some just like random nonsense that's not good. Uh, Fairgrounds Warden seems like it's good against Reanimator. Copter seems fine. Mom didn't look particularly good that matchup. And maybe like a Danto Vanguard is medium. Yeah, Vanguard is medium too. Kithian too, sure. We'll just cut all the low drops. I just want answers to all the Reanimator stuff. You'd keep Mom. You think she's great versus Mono B? I guess you only have one thing to protect against. That's true. Maybe I still just get rid of the Tithe Taker. Take out all the like cheap stuff. Bring in more answers to their things. Cut Splicer Recruiter. I kind of like Splicer in this deck. I could see cutting Recruiter though. Recruiter does get you V. Um, sorry, Glenalindra. Oh yeah, that's true too. Luis, it's not Mono B. It's like a blue-black reanimator deck. Except they were mana screwed. We only saw like a chart of course at the very end of the game. Recruiter for Trinket. For Relic, most expensive graveyard hate ever. I know, build, <laughs> build your own rest in peace. Oh no, Nuclear, no, not like this. <laughs> Not like these. Okay. Uh, this hand is a mulligan. Oh my gosh, no. Chat's gonna start explaining to me what Guardian Project does. <laughs> Feels bad. What format am I playing? Hey, Cube Mats. Uh, this is Vintage Cube. It's live on Magic Online right now. Classic Guardianers. Let me mulligan. Ah, uh, is this the keep? We do have the relic. This might be a keep. It's not very good. Um, let's throw back. What like a planes probably. I want I want to keep the these because then I can just fetch more lands out of my deck. Gooby kept the highlight message option. <laughs> I have to fix all my rewards, Cap. Let me go done. I need to add the jewel dog rewards and I need to add the chinchilla rewards. Ooh. So you can always activate this. So if worst comes to worst, like I don't even know if it's right to play Relic right now. Have I heard of the Stream Raiders game? No, I have not heard about it. I'm gonna play Seacrum Coast. Yeah, maybe I'll just Relic. As a mice and Sam's favorite friend from this decade is Madness. No, Caroline, that's so sad. Oh my gosh, are we once again on the mana screwed plan? Mm. 
Hmm. Yeah, and I think we're just gonna keep like Misty here so that we can always activate. Yeah, so I guess I would have worked out better to just go mom. Though we're not gonna tag into Putrid M, so like. Yeah, I can't stop that from happening. Get that putrid imp. Get it, baby. Ooh, Derek, I appreciate that. Thank you. Yeah, I, I just saw your DM. I wasn't looking out for it, though. Thank you for letting me know. That's really cool. I appreciate that. Let me crack this. Let's get hallowed fountain probs. Ah. Uh... I don't really want to tap out of Relic, but then we can't recruit her of the guard if we don't do that. It's probably worth it to recruit her of the guard, right? I could also recruit her of the guard for... I think I am recruitering. Yeah, I think so too, Louise. Let me look. Yeah, we need some me more members to the guard. Our guard is lonely. I think it's Glenalendra, right? I think it's going to Lundra next turn we play Vista and Pass. And if they don't do anything, we just Resto Angel. Ooh, I like that, Louise. Flick or Wisp, turn four, leave up Relic. Love it. Yes, that sounds awesome. Let me get Flick or Wisp. Um, I can attack with... I don't even really care that much if they... Nah, let's just not do it. I, if I, My plan is to recruit her to this thing. I just want to protect it. Yeah. Hi, Kira fan. How are you? It's been a while. Yeah, IQ, if they have like a Prowler or something, they would have multiple things to get, but... No Kira in this deck. I'm sorry. Let me go planes and go one, two... Three. Oh, I should have attacked first. What am I doing? Whatever is fine. Blink recruiter. I'm still just gonna hold back with these two. Sorry, Kiora's fan. I would like to use the ability. Now I'm gonna get Glenalendra. And then next turn we can Glenalendra have activation up. <laughs> no attack. <laughs> Classic no attack tips. Yeah, Kiora, I think this is a good deck. It's not too shabby. <laughs> oh my god, Molly. <laughs> Jaber's just been, we've been on plan one the entire time. Oh, I needed to... That happens in cleanup, right? So I never actually had a chance to use my relic. I think this is true. Hold on, let me attack with these two first. That's true. Okay, yeah, that's what I thought. I was like, how did I not use my relic? Die. Glenalendra. Yeah, if it's an Eldrazi or Necro. Yeah. No, that makes sense. It just caught me off guard because I was like, oh, duh. How did I not do it? Hey, Down the Kid. Thank you. Yeah, I'm doing much better. I feel like I was sick coming back from, from Ecuador. And I feel like I am cured from that. But then I also just was like, I'm behind on a lot of work and stuff. So I've been trying to catch up to that. Agro control, hiking. Hi, Neon Tokyo. Welcome. How are you? Uh, yeah, Kiora, because it, the Eldrazi would have a shuffle trigger you put on the stack, and in response to that, you can surgical it. Thank you so much, Neon. I appreciate that. Just thinking for your mill deck. Yeah, totally. Let's say hi. Good luck. Have fun. Yes, replacement effect doesn't work. So, like, if it's, like, uh, Progenitus or Blightsteel Colossus, it doesn't. I would like to play first. This looks good. We just have to draw something for the Copter, but I believe. Also, Misty gets us blue. Our mana's really good with this deck. <laughs> Nucleo. That is bad karma. Chat, what are your hopes and dreams for Magic this year? I'm, I'm curious to hear. I would like a 
playable standard format. That would make me very happy. I, there was like a, such a good standard format right before Oko. I was like really enjoying playing standard too. Tournaments on Arena would be actual really, really sweet. Act, you know what? That, that, is, that is part of my hashtag goals too. A limited PT. <laughs> You're hoping for solid hate bear that screws over planeswalkers? Huh. I haven't really done any of those recently, right? Hi, Dan Rocks. Welcome. You excited for Heliod and Daxes and Historic? Oh, I'm going to a... I'm hoping for better Historic support as well. Wow, my opponent's so lucky. Molly Dooley reprint. Let's play Hallowed Fountain. Say no. Uh, Smuggler's Cupter. Oh my gosh, no, would you? <laughs> would you not like this? Oh, that's sweet, Cookie. Yeah, I mean, that's part of the reason I want a good standard format. I, I really was loving standard right before Oko came out. I was like jamming standard. It was so much fun. Which also made me want to play like the ranked queue and made me want to play Arena more often. Ooh. My opponent's mana screwed. I'm just going to click him now because I really want to animate the smuggler's copter. Beep, 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 beep. And they're off it. We don't even know what they're playing. Send them back in. Oh, SE Townsend. I was going to click them and then probably not give them anything because they clearly don't have lands. But we it's basically like Gataxian Probe. And I didn't particularly want to click anything away from my hand. I thought my hand was pretty good. Yes. Oh my gosh. Can I hope for for reels? For reels drafts on Arena. That's all I asked for Christmas, but I didn't get it. Santa thought I was on the naughty list. Rats. I know, cute mats. I, I actually like Historic. I think I've been playing Historic and it was fun, but it does, yeah, it has no support. Wow, we did it. We have Soul Ring. Oh, baby. I know, it's probably not happening, Molly, but I can still hope, right? That's my hopes and dreams. You you can't tell me that I can't hope and dream for that. Uh, keep. That's true, Wolfsark, but didn't they say they were going to get rid of that? Won't they just replace Historic with Pioneer? I mean, it would be fine if those two eventually become the same format, as long as one of them support it, right? Ooh, love it. Um, let me go Island, Soul Ring. Actually, we should have gone plain Soul Ring, and then we could go Fairgrounds Ward and eat your thing. Oh god, what did I do? We had a Smuggler's Copter. I swear I just blanked on it completely. <laughs> Raceland, thank you. I swear, I just didn't even see it in my hand. That was very disrespectful to Copter. It's okay, we'll survive. Um, <laughs> no, we can't cast it because they'll know. They actually might not know because there's nothing else we want to play. Josh for the 24! Josh, thank you so much. Happy two years to you. How are you doing? It's so awesome to see you. I think we're just going to play Soul Ring with this and then play Hallowed Fountain. Say no. And then next turn we'll play a five. Because like... We could have played Fairgrounds Ward and started attacking the Smuggler's Copter. I don't even think that's right. Oh, that's kind of rude. Buried alive, huh? <laughs> yeah, Ancient Spark. <laughs> Buried alive is a little scary, though. Fairgrounds Warden can take care of that in the pinch. So can Angel Sanctions. Emrakul, the Promise, then in Grizzlebrand. Oh, God. I know. We're boarding into the same sideboard plan we did before. Lark to crew and discard a creature you can get back. Love it. <laughs> Once it dies. I mean, I'm not casting anything else, so might as well. Let's get the Lark going. It's when it leaves the battlefield, right? One, two, three, four, five. Let's go, Lark. Yeah, Dom, it was stupid. I can't believe I was on the naughty list, but I, I didn't get the only thing I asked for Christmas. I asked for... Oh, no, actually, I asked for um, limited at Worlds. That's what I asked for. Should have asked for just limited on Arena. I would like to loot. What do I not want? 
I'm about to get stripped, so I probably want second... I, I probably want my planes, because they're going to kill my hallowed fountain. So I can probably bin the... Is the island? Yeah, I can bin the island. Oh. <laughs> can it beat living death? Maybe I should have been the angel of sanctions. <laughs> Oh no, Dokumoy! Santa's so mean. Do I have any reason to keep Signet over land? No, I could have been the Signet too. Mox Ruby. All right. Hello, Bim. Welcome, welcome. There goes our thingy. I don't think it's Living Death because they wouldn't have stripped. Oh no, now I really wish I would have been the Angel of Sanctions. Sure. Well, I have Grizzly Beezy. Okay. Well, we're still doing fine. So we can Angel Sanctions get rid of Grizzly Beezy and then keep attacking with a Lark. Oh, and then we can even crew the Smuggler's Copter. Yeah, that sounds good. Have I made my peace with Pelucranos now that we have a new and improved one? <laughs> we can just eat it? What do you mean, Jumi? Allie! Thank you so much for the host, hon! I appreciate that. We could warden and mom too. That's actually a good point. Yeah, I, yeah, I like it. That's a good. That's a good plan. I think we could have Simic signed it too. Ali, thank you so much for that host. I really, really appreciate it. Welcome on in, Raiders. We're playing some Vintage Cube. I know this doesn't look as cool as Arena, but it's the only place you can play Vintage Cube. So you know, we do what we can with what we got. Let's play Mother of Runes. Thank you so much, Ali. Enjoy the rest of your stream. I really appreciate the host. Welcome, welcome, everybody. Hey, Andrea. Ooh, look at Molly. Oh my god, that Ali love... Did, did Ali draw that one? That's a really funny emote. Oh, I'm sorry, Chad. I was distracted with the host. Yeah, we didn't send with Smuggler's Copter. I swear I love Copter. I just... It happens. A mod who drew it a long time ago never felt the need to change it. I love it. It's really good. I know. I'll, I'll show some respect to the cop during a second. Don't worry. We're going to use Fairgrounds Warden for it probably. And then keep mom up so we can protect the warden. Do I think we'll ever see another legacy GP? Yeah, probably. Raceland with the gifted subs. Uh, there comes Emrakul, the promised end. Thank you so much, Raceland. Let's see who's in. Dreamy Pants, Alpha about Speaker Ender... Trio Kosho and T Dog, welcome on in. Keeping Copter back to block and loot. <laughs> oh wow, they got my Simic Signet. Okay. So they get to go to cleanup. Let's see what they've been. Rotting Reggie and Thief of Sanity. So they're also a blue deck. Alright, so let's just go Angel of Sanctions. No, we're not gonna get blown out, Dabu. The mom's not attacking. So as long as we can protect Angel Sanctions or Fairgrounds Warden, we're doing totally fine. Raceland, thank you again for the gifted subs. You're so sweet. I really appreciate that. Let's Angel Sanctions away this thing. Yeah, I think we want the Emrakul, not the Animate Dead. Yeah, because they have nothing good to reanimate right now except for Thief of Sanity. So I'm going to take Emrakul. Because it's also a cast trigger. I would like to use the ability. Yeah, I'll, I'll get Dabu. Don't worry. And they're dead. Okay, cool. Sorry I played that match kind of distracted, chat. We're still 4-0, baby. Emrakul and Grave is more relevant than Animate Dead. Yeah, Jumi, I was just trying to see if there was a chance I wanted to leave Emrakul in the yard. Like, and take the anime dead instead. Because sometimes there might be a reason to do one or the other. I know. <laughs> we made two reanimator decks. Not one, but two. Yeah, it's worth considering for sure, Spongy. For sure. You just... There's just some chances that, that it might matter. Like, if it was ME15 taking anime, it was probably right. 
E yes, because then ME15 just shuffles back in and puts everything else back in there too. Yeah, it's stuff like that, right? It's just like really minor stuff. Next time we're try hardy, maybe pass the copter. I know, I know. I'm sorry. I just the one time I just didn't see it in my hand. The second time I was distracted with the house. <laughs> I would like to play Hurst. Uh, this hand seems fine. Yeah. We can go soap into like recruiter for who knows what. We are trying to try hard. This is accurate. We maybe should have just played Island because we don't actually want to crack the Misty. We can always get Tundra with it. Oh, I love it, Raceland. That's sweet. Okay, I'm not going to crack it since we can always get Tundra and it's like very easy to get Tundra. 3BB. I think given that we should just play some Signet. Yeah, I think Linvala might be pretty good against this deck. Let's play Siggy. Boom. When did Tryhard become a big thing? Is trying uncool now? <laughs> no, I don't think it's bad, Bulletproof. It's more that doing stipulation drafts is like specifically not tryharding because you're always just playing like at a disadvantage. I think next turn we can play Thraben Inspector and hold up Romance slash Crack Clue. Your wish for 2020, a playgroup to play Paper Cube with. Oh no, Razark. You you can get there. Sometimes going to an LGS and finding a group there um, is a good way to develop a friend group to play Magic with. Like I feel like after I met a bunch of people at my LGS in Chicago, we would get together outside of the LGS, but we needed to meet at the LGS for that to happen in the first place. They did nothing? Oh, that's kind of rude. Pestermite? Uh, let's see what they target. Oh no, sorry, I can... I can just remand this right now and play Thraben Inspector so they don't have a Pestermite too. That seems like a reasonable thing to do. Hold on, I need to go through here. It also gives me another chance of drawing a land for this turn because I'm about to brick. Yeah, there you go. Okay, yeah, that, that worked out. So now I can play 3BB and then play Hallowed Fountain. Cool. <gasps> That's a good goal, Freddy. Love it. I need to go figure out which GPs I'm going to this year and start buying some tickets and stuff. Oh, that's that stinks, Razark. QB with Gooby. <laughs> GP Toronto? Maybe. That's oh, I, I used to be closer to Toronto than I am now. That is kind of unfortunate. Um What are we? We can't really make any good plays. We could crack the clue and see what we draw. And if we draw something good, then like if we draw land, then we can also play Flicker Wisp or Recruiter. But that just doesn't seem good. I guess I could just pass with Resto Angel, blink the Thraben Inspector and draw another card or like make another clue. That might be okay. You want to try to collect? My, my, my problem with doing that, Dokomori, is that if we don't, hit it's like such a poor use of our mana <laughs> monkey unit that's this is true okay well. blinkerino now next turn, with two clues, we can just start cracking clues to try to hit lands. I know, that'd be so sweet, Molly. Yeesh! Oh, that's just gonna kill my Viv. Or sorry, my Resto. Yeah, sure. That 
That's not great. Land? Please? Okay, that's good. Hi, Poggies. Hi, King. Welcome. Let me go ahead and attack Viv. We need to get Flicker Wisp going to threaten to kill Viverino, I think. So we can just Flicker Wisp and blink the Thraben Inspector to make another clue. That seems like fine. I'm going to mana burn here to have an extra mana in case they have days and they pick up Breeding Pool. Uh, Hold on. I tapped like all the wrong colors. <laughs> there you go. Wait, where's my... Oh god, the Stimic Signet's trying to cycle the... There you go. <laughs> Mana burn sound always, Molly. Okay. Well, we have a lot of clues, that's for sure. Three of the inspectors on the case. Um, that's not gonna work, Alistra, because by the time that I, like, I have the mana floating already, by the time the Thraven Inspector comes back, my mana will uh, clear out of the mana pool. So, it's just better to try to get an extra clue there. <laughs> that's funny, Cookie. Oh yeah, oh yeah, Ryan, we're, we're about to... Get on the case. The nice thing now is that even if Viv just like ticks up to find whatever, like we, we threaten it pretty well with Flicker Wisp. What was the advantage of floating there? So if you play Flicker Wisp and then you don't have a land to put through the Signet, you can't cycle anymore. Um, the advantage of doing that is if they have days, we play around days. That's the only difference there basically. Happy to thank you. Happy New Year's to you. No, Poly, when you have four mana and you need four mana and you didn't tap the soap, you locked yourself into three mana. Because I'm playing Flicker Wisp and then you're saying they would then cast the days and then I just, I have already spent my mana. So you either make the mana before or you don't. Tell me this isn't the soap. It's just a dove bar. <laughs> Yeah, it's okay, Polly. All good. But yeah, th I mean, this is the thing that's awkward with the signets. It's like you have to, you actually do need the mana to use them. Okay, what are they? Show game log. <laughs> Simic bioengineered soap. Let's see what they hit. They hit uh, Rofellos. Okay, that's a little spooky. And they played the Rafellos. They still have like four mana left this turn. The problem with the Talisman's Debu is that they, they hurt you. And they're more expensive too, right? They cost one more mana. Razakun, welcome. Please let me hit a land. That make me so happy. Oh, here comes the Pestermite. Sure. Okay, let's see what they do. They're probably going to try to tap my Flicker Wisp. Sure. So the nice thing about this is that gets tapped. But if I do hit a land, I get the Time Warp. And I didn't. That's really stupid. All right, so let's... Cycle through the soap and oh, crack a clue and try to hit a land. Oh no. We have to hit this time warp. I think we just have to crack another clue and try to hit land again. Okay, there's our secret coast. Might as well attack because I think I'd be down to trade with either of those two. Yeah, that was not good together because if we were able to time warp there, I think we'd be in much better shape. Simic soap is definitely animal tested. <laughs> this is like the least cru cruelty free magic card you've ever seen. Totally bioengineered. Yeah, they're probably gonna hoof me here. I can't really do that much about that. Reclamation Sage. That kills my last clue.
Mm. Ancestral? What the hell? Oh, yeah, it's probably going to reclaim the soap. You're right. Yeah, this is looking not great. Hmm. This is the Rex Age. Kill the soap. Draw land for the love of God. Please. They have more stuff? Jeez. All right. On tap land. Please. Thank God. Okay. So. Warp's not even that good here. No. I'm trying to figure out what would even be good here. Let me look at my deck. I need. Yeah, maybe it's just like play Gideon, Jura, tick up. Yeah, I think Jura, Gideon Jura plus hope it works out is like the best plan we've got. It's just a really bad plan. <laughs> Okay. Good luck, Gideon. You got this. I don't want to get through fellows. I'm pretty sure what I need to do is uh, take up and have them attack me. Here, I don't. Yeah, this is like a g g this is Gideon sacrifice for sure. And I'm not. I'm gonna pass because they're gonna have to attack. And now I get to use Flicker Wisp to try to take down that Vivian. And I get to block. I mean, they could tap their elves a deep shadow, or otherwise I get to block it. They could also tap Rofellos, or I get to block it. <laughs> Molly, that's so true. Terastodon. Oh no, my Gideon. I believe we're just. I do get more of your Hearthstone references now, Molly. Though I will say I haven't played, um... My Chad! <laughs> I haven't played Battlegrounds in a while. I did not play any while I was in Ecuador. Let's see what they do. I kind of want to see what they do, but I believe we're just dead. Uh, they're killing their forest, a land of mine, and the Gideon. Yeah, I mean, I don't really see how we get out of this. Oh my gosh, Caroline, I would be so mad. Tell him no, tell him to get out. Okay, yeah, let's just get out of here. We can't beat this deck. Um, he said he was worried it wasn't him. I will say this, Caroline, I think like, Friend and SO fall into slightly different, like, categories. Where I would not say my best friend of the decade is also, like, my SO. Like, I think your SO is your SO. It's, like, that's kind of implied. And I know a lot of people are like, I'm marrying my best friend or whatever. But I still kind of feel like it's different categories. I'm going to bring Linvala in. Yeah, that's true, Caroline. Artisan and Emrakul and Prey. Okay, Luis, no, 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 don't, 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 stop, just stop, you're being bad, stop, stop, just stop, I don't think I want anything else, I do think I want the Linvala. This is why I didn't get 5% drafts, I thought I was naughty, I think Blade Splicer looks kind of, um, no, hold on. Maybe Kithian looks crappy. Who's my friend of the decade? Um, who is my friend of the decade? I think it's probably Jose. It's like... Decade is weird because it's, it's like, yeah, I think it's Jose is my guess. Like, I was friends with Jose when I graduated college, and I remain very good friends with him to this day. And he's, like, one of the few people who I actually make an effort, who, like, doesn't live close to here, who I actually make an effort to see. Yeah. Also, Jose got me into magic. 
which I didn't expect. So I think it's him. Like, otherwise it would be my best my best friend from home. But the thing is, we just don't stay as, like, close in touch with my best friend from home. When I go back and we hang out, it's like everything's the same. To uh, like, 100%. But then we don't talk to each other that much during the year. So then decade does count all the time after I've been out of college, which means that it, that can't be it. So... Did BK lie when he said he got me into magic? He... He was a contributing factor getting me into magic. Nah, he's taking too much credit, Narbly. It was not BK. My, the friend who got me into magic was Jose, and he bought us a deck builder's toolkit. And then BK got into magic again because of the thing that Jose got. I'm going to keep this. This hand's good. What I go to college for? I went to school for management consulting. It was just like a general business program, basically. Hi, Montanor. I like your Jorbs. Hey. Ooh, ooh, what is this? Oh, hi, CFB. Hey, KQ. K. Hold on. Cucumber67 with a tier one sub. Welcome, welcome. How are you doing? It is lovely to have you. Enjoy the emotes. Like, BK is always some, also somewhere up there in my, like, friends of the decade, but I, I just have always been, like, very close with Jose. Um... Tundra Mon. CFB is the best, pl the best place to find hot singles in your area. CFB had a good promotion. I don't know if it's going on today still, but yesterday they had 20 back. It was like New Year. It's a good promotion if you're looking into getting some hot singles. Hi, slew bars. Welcome home. Yeah, I remember. This is BK saying he regrets teaching me how to play I magic, right? If there's any question, anything that I regret, it's teaching how to play magic and so now you guys have to deal with her, and her <laughs> he's so mean you know what that is why jose is my friend of the decade it is that clip that's what demoted bk it was that clip live with the consequences uh, i think we'll play a soap <laughs> oh no carolina can't believe you're so close Oh, Yuka, I'm sorry. I asked you earlier if you had gotten your card and I was, I don't think I saw your response. Because I think either CFB tried to send you one, but I give sword to Jose. I believe he has a sword. He's just not on the stream that often. <laughs> the clip deserves a command. Yeah, it probably does. It's very good. <laughs> Am I feeling better? Yes, I'm good. Thank you, Cucumber. Did I also ask if Narbly or you got... Oh, you guys didn't get your Gooby 25? Okay, I need to talk to... I need to talk to a bunch of stuffs. That's really good. Thank you, Nucleo. Soap is back. They do have Rex Age. I have to be careful. They're going to go Ancient Tomb. <laughs> kill your Simic. Oh, God, no. Why? They're just going to have a five... They're just going to have a Planeswalker here. I'm going to die. Yeah. Kill your soap. God damn. So much for trying a trophy. And there goes my soap. Yeah, that was bad. Smash concede? Maybe. I, I think there's a really good chance we're already dead. They have Ancestral and Lotus. Must just be. I do think if we draw like Ancient Tomb and play Glenelendra, like we might be... Me. We could instead draw nothing. How about that? Have to attack. I could path my mom. Path my mom, get another land, and then play Fairgrounds Warden to kill their thing. Sure. Yeah, me too, Nucleo. Me too. Mom's just not doing that much. Oh, yeah, this is going to be good. They're probably going to go like... Is this Courser? No. Green suns for two. Sure. <laughs> That's true, German. Oh, man. Okay, so we are going to path the mom. 
And then we're going to Fairgrounds Warrior to take the Rafellos. We have two white already, so let me play Island so we have active more activations for Glen. Oh, I guess we could have just bounced the Rafellos. Rafellos is legendary, huh? I was planning on just playing Fairgrounds Warden, though. Because we were going to do that regardless. Let me get the island. Yeah. So I guess it would have worked out better because we could have bounced Rofellos and then played Glenelendra this turn. Something like that. Instead, now I, I'm going to let them on top with Rofellos, I guess. Or just like... No! We can still Caracas it and then play Fairgrounds Warden, but then, then we don't take anything. Flower power, thank you for the 16. Yeah, I think it would have worked out much better to just Caracas the Rofellos and then here play Glenn. Play Fairgrounds Warden, maybe hold up Caracas. No, I mean, we can't let them on top with Rafellos. We know they have Mooly Dooley in hand. So. I could just play Plains, Caracas to bounce Rafellos and pass and like dare them to play something into that. Play Fairgrounds Warren, hold up Caracas. Oh, I see what you mean. Yeah, I mean, that, that might be okay, too. None of these options are very good. I guess I'll let them keep the Mooly Dooly. I'm just a little worried about letting them on top with that much mana, Swagger. We are living in the worst timeline, though. This just is not going to work out very well. Yeah, Rafaelos is too scary. Like, we're just so likely to be dead if they on top with that. So we can't... Whatever happens, we either, like, play this or just bounce it and pass and make it look like we have a counter spell. Sure. So this is Mooly Dooly and try to hit something. They hit land... But that's the second land. Oh, hello. Yeah, that was a little unexpected. They chose to do that instead of playing the island from the top, huh? All right. And I didn't draw land. Yeah, that was rough. Because had we drawn a land, we could Glen there. And then we can use that to start, like, threatening the Viv. Instead, they hit a Mox. They, they had green Mox, too. Did you see that? Oof. Our opponent's deck is good. <laughs> Into Ancestral. <laughs> yeah, so go Island, go that. So they had those in hand. Yeah, must just be... And to play nothing else. Come on, give me land. Well, that's unfortunate. <laughs> we drew the land. We're still not out of this completely. They are going to Ancestral for a lot. And now they're going to play Belucranos, which actually looks good on this board. Yeah, this 2-0 bracket is pretty brutal, Molly. They just they their deck is very good. Their deck is better than ours. Has three pieces of power that we've seen. Also, if we draw Ancient Tomb at any point, we could just Teferi or Gideon. Sakura Tribelder, sure. When does Viv Ultimate? I think eight. There's Ancestral. Yeah, it's minus eight. So we are we are fine with like the Viv. That's not even the problem. Also, drawing Soul Ring is pretty good. Then we start Angel sanctioning and stuff like that. Like 
it seemed like their hand wasn't very powerful, but yeah, no, this is gonna happen. What is this? Mm, I don't believe we can beat that. Yep. We have Swords to Plowshares and Path to Exile, which we already used. Well, there's the Vista. I can't actually trade everything for Terastodon at the moment. We have... Oh, no, we don't have Swords. Yeah, let me... I think we're dead, but let me just... Yeah, I thought we had swords, so we, we can actually triple block the Terastodon. <laughs> Maybe they'll deck. They would draw nine. I just assume that if they draw nine, we're like extremely dead, though. It seems very unlikely that we... It seems very unlikely that they'd ever not hit anything in nine cards, you know? I do want to battle it out, though. This is the last match, so we might as well. Look at the four cards. Sack your lands for, to Fairgrounds Ward and dump them for 20. <laughs> okay, so they hit a Pelucranos, which was shuffled away earlier. Okay, so let's go one, two, three. They have e wit in their deck, so like trading with a Terastodon isn't like fantastic, but. Uh, this is Poly K? No, oh my gosh, what is this, six? Is this prime time? Avenger? Uh, yeah, I think we can concede to that. Oh no! Womp womp, 2-1 always. I liked our deck though, our deck wasn't bad. Um, Let me wrap up this video. I know, always 2-1, we've 2 one every draft. I do like getting a refund on the, on the deck. No power, no trophy. I know, so unlucky. <laughs> Forever 21. Um, if you're watching this on YouTube, thanks so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed another 2-1 draft. Blah, we're still trophy hunting. Um, if you wanna, if you like this video, you can subscribe for more. And that is a free way for you to support the stream. So I would very much appreciate it. Um, it also lets you know when I upload other YouTube drop. Sorry, other vintage cube drops on the YouTube. So you can uh, watch more of those if you like. If you want to come say hi to us on the live stream, which is where this gets recorded live, that's on twitch.tv slash gabbysports. Thanks for hanging, YouTube. See you later. If you like this video, you can subscribe for more. And if you want to come say hi to us on the live stream, that's on twitch.tv slash gabbysports. I stream every weekday in the afternoons, mountain times. See you later.